Okay, so welcome to Trusted Teachers, um, another video input um, to help and be the support that we needed uh, when we began teaching. Um, so today, what I'm joined by um, Mr. B. Um, Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. B. Um, and Mr. B, today's lesson is on the processor and the CPU, uh, the microprocessor, lots of different names, but we've seen this model before um, when we looked at input devices, output devices and storage. Uh, today, uh, it's a brief input on that thing in the middle. It's called the processor. Um, its proper name is the central processing unit. Sometimes that's abbreviated to CPU uh, or just the processor. Um, so a few pictures, first of all, just so we know exactly what we're talking about. Um, there we go, that's a, an Intel, a um, very popular brand of processor, um, Intel Core i9. Um, that's it out of its packaging, showing you the gold pins that connect it uh, to the motherboard. And that's a picture of one actually being placed onto a motherboard. Um, so that's the CPU um, in action, if you like. So there's three areas of the CPU that we need to, to delve into a wee bit more detail in this picture here and um, shows that for us. If you look at the, just the process in the middle there, you'll see the control unit, the arithmetic and logic unit, and the registers. And that's the three areas we're going to have a, a look at this today. Um, so there we go. That's the first one, the arithmetic and logic unit. And we have a classic definition. The arithmetic and logic unit is responsible for all of the arithmetic carried out in a computer addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but it's also responsible for logic decisions. So uh, I've given an example there of the and, or, or not, which we may use when we're doing some coding. Um, that's the arithmetic um, operators that we work with, the divide, multiply, subtract, and add. So the ALU do carry out all those functions for us. Um, we also have the greater than, less than, Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal to. Um, so the ALU again does compares numbers and compares values, decide if one number is larger than another, or smaller, or equal to, etc. And the last one there was the and or or not. Um, we come across these a lot when we're programming, and it's the ALU that's responsible uh, for looking at those three words and, and deciding how a, a uh, condition should be executed. So that's the ALU, does all of the arithmetic and all of those logic decisions comparing numbers. Um, moving on, we have the control unit. And the control unit doesn't actually carry out instructions. Its job is to communicate with the registers in the ALU and the wider parts of the computer system to ensure that instructions are carried out in the correct manner. So it obtains an instruction from the program which is stored in main memory which we'll look at in the next video, uh, decodes that instruction, and then it issues out signals to the other parts of the processor to get that instruction executed. So it's very much, as the name says, a control unit. It coordinates the execution of program instructions. And lastly, we have the registers. Temporary storage locations actually inside the CPU. And they can store uh, instructions that are going to be executed. Uh, addresses of memory locations where instructions are stored and possibly the results of calculations. Very fast. You'll see going from a hard disk, random access memory, cache memory, and the CPU registers. They are the fastest access memory. So I'm going to leave this um, slide on the screen just for a moment because this contains the kind of three classic definitions. And if you were studying for an exam or creating study cards, some notes, this would be the definitions that you would have to learn for each of those three areas. Of course, it's not just enough to um, learn the definition. You have to also be able to demonstrate your understanding of what they, they do. Um, so with that in mind, we'll just move on to one or two brief questions. And this is maybe where you can help me out here, Mr. B. Um, I've got a couple of exam style questions taken from exam papers. Um, so the question number one there, state the processor component. So immediately we're thinking about ALU control unit registers. That's the three components. Then we calculate a total cost. Which one would calculate a total for us, Mr. B? 
It would be the ALU. Absolutely, yep. The ALU carries out all that arithmetic for us. Where a program is running, it carries out the following task. It stores the original value of 50. Now, which part of the process would store a value for us? The registers? Absolutely, the registers. They are all about the, the storage. And it was going to check if a certain value is greater than 10. Again, which part of the ALU, at what top, which part of the process would do that? You gave the game away there, ALU? I gave the game away, yes. I was thinking ahead, but the ALU, I've done that in the class many, many times. Um, last but not least, the two other wee parts here. State the part of the processor that would temporarily store a value of 50. Registers? Absolutely, spot on, great answers. And lastly, state the part of the processor that would compare a sales value to the value of 10. Um, ALU? ALU again, yes, um, absolutely. So that's the, the processor and the three main parts of the processor, the ALU, the control unit, and the registers. And that's been another input by trusted teachers being the support that we need.